Do you use your pinky to anchor down for finger picking? This is such a commonly searched question by guitarists. In today's lesson, I'm gonna bring you through the three key points to make your own mind up about this because the reality is there is only one decision to make. Stay till the end and you'll find out which is the best one for you. Okay, step number one, Pima. Pima is basically to do with a type of finger picking notation where P stands for your thumb, I stands for your index, M for middle, and A for the ring finger. Now, in case you're wondering, how come P for thumb? How come A for ring finger? Well, it's based on Spanish words. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but just to give you a heads up. So that's P-I-M-A. And what that means is, when you come to finger picking, if this note is written as a P, you pick it with your thumb, index, middle, ring. What that has to do with your pinky is there is no mention of your pinky in Pima. Think about that for a second. There is zero mention of your pinky in this Pima notation, which makes you wonder what might it be used for then? And when you look at a lot of players, it's down here on the body of the guitar. So that's the first thing to think about. You will see many guitars out there, many famous ones as well, who don't anchor with their pinky, but you'll see in Pima, it's written that way. So keep that in mind. Which brings us on to step number two. Note the most famous finger picking artists and what they do. So if we take a look on screen at Tommy Emmanuel, you'll notice that his pinky is pressed down on the body of his, of his guitar. And I think you'll agree, he's a fairly class finger picking guitarist. Another finger picking guitarist to take notice of is Mark Knopfler. If we take a look at Mark Knopfler's technique, you will notice that his ring and his pinky, so he kind of has PIM going on, <laughs> and he has them placed down on the body of the guitar. So those are two massive guitarists to think about. And a third guitarist to think about is Paul Simon. And if we look at some of Paul Simon's works, you'll notice that I like to play them. If I go like this. It works so much better keeping the pinky anchored on. So that's the Pima notation with no mention of your pinky. That's a list of famous guitarists who use their pinky and we've seen it in photos. And brings us on to my last point. Point number three, try it on your own songs. Is it better to anchor your pinky down for songs that you already play? Because at the end of the day, this video is made for anybody who wants to get this question answered. But everybody who's watching this video, you don't all play the exact same songs. So what I'd suggest is definitely go home and try, or you might be at home right now. <laughs> be at home, go home, whichever one you want. and. Take out some of your finger picking songs and try it with the pinky anchored and without it anchored. Uh, my personal preference is to anchor my pinky. Here's why. It's because I can go faster. I can go like. Like that. And the second thing is I rarely use my pinky to pick strings with. It's, it's, it's too weak. Mine is too weak for that. So those are three things to remember when trying to figure out should you use your pinky to anchor with when playing finger style or finger picked guitar. I sure hope you found this lesson useful. Remember to like and subscribe and you will find another video popping up right about now which you might want to check out.